Now, livestock keepers in lowland areas in of Samburu County have been asked to emulate other pastoralists in Kenya by keeping high-quality breeds of camel to boost camel meat and milk production. The county procured 942 camels of high-quality breeds at 77 million shillings and distributed to farmers to increase camel meat and milk production. The Camel Breed Upgrade program aims to improve the resilience of the trade of pastoralists and is one of the programs the county government is undertaking to boost agriculture in the area. Uh, the, the camels are uh, normally sourced from counties of Wajia mostly, though they can also be sourced from Garissa. Uh, the environment and the, the weather in Garissa and Wajia is similar to this one in Samburu County. So we don't expect our camels to find any challenges in terms of climate adaptation. And uh, so we expect our Department of Veterinary Services to, to be doing continuous monitoring and providing support to these farmers until this came, uh, these camels are stable. Investment in mechanization and provision of certified seeds to farmers in highland areas to boost the county's food security is ongoing. Farmers in Barsaloi area in Samburu North received 280 camels under the program. Beneficiaries were elated as they received the camels, saying the animals are scarce in the area despite their suitability compared to the goats and cows who are in higher numbers. Elsewhere, more than 700 farmers in Kilifi County have benefited from grants worth 100 million shillings from World Bank. The National Agricultural and Rural Inclusive Growth Project implemented through the Kilifi County government aims to increase food production. The project prioritizes coconuts, dairy, local chicken production, and beekeeping. Farmers who registered in groups of between 25 to 30 members got between 300,000 and 2 million shillings. Matsangoni Beekeeping Group received 20 beehives under the program and are nearing harvest time. Tunategemea sana sana kuvuna asali maraine kwa mwaka. Hiyo inamana kwa mba tumezidisha lile zao na katika kuvuna maraine kwa mwaka kwa kila mzinga tunavuna lita saba hiyo ni nini mamu the group says through the proceeds of the trade they not only help the families meet their daily expenditure but are able to save and educate their children narig project coordinator said private agricultural consultants will be hired to supplement the efforts of agricultural extension officers in the county Finally, the dairy sector in Nyandara County got a major boost after a 1 billion shillings milk processing plant opened up in the area. Ziara Dairy Limited was built in the last three years and is targeting to benefit over 6,000 farmers drawn from the county. Nyandara Governor Francis Kimemia termed the investment as a big milestone in assisting milk farmers to get value for their money. <laughs> wananchi mulete maziwa na mwenye kwa maziwa ni safi hii itakuwa ni mulandi ambao pia watakuwa na mulandi, mulandi wa kute, kusaidia na kufundisha farmers wetu hawa elfu sita ambao watakuwa majunga na hii cooperative kwa fudisha kutoa maziwa safi na maziwa ambao haijawe kwa uchafu hata kidogo Factory General Manager James Kamau said the management decided to invest in the sector due to the milk glut that has been witnessed in the county he noted that they are set to process ultra heated dried milk powdered milk butter and cheese. Betty Kiptum, Channel 1 Business.